Hello everyone, back to you the verification for the summer 2017 forecast from GazWeathers.com. So back at the end of May, we released our summer 2017 forecast and we predicted that it would be a significantly warmer than average summer by perhaps as much as 1 to 2 degrees above average. Possibly we thought it might even um, be a bit of a classic summer, although we didn't go that far. We didn't forecast a very hot summer. Um, but we certainly predicted a very warm summer, and we thought all other months during the summer would come out warmer than average, with the greatest uh, anomaly, the warmest month, to average either July or August. We also predicted quite a bit of regional variation in rainfall due to thunderstorms produced by the heat of the summer. Well, of course, we've gone past summer now. We're into uh, autumn, and it's always important when you issue a long-range forecast to uh, verify it. Some forecasters put their forecast out, and uh, you never know whether it went to plan or not. That's not how we do things at Gasworth. It's we like to go back and verify the forecast, see how we did. So no cherry-picking. Um, it either comes out as a success or a failure, and uh, we just see how things went. So I'm going to go through the uh, climate averages uh, from the UK Met Office and see exactly how this summer panned out against the uh, Gasworthy's.com summer 2017 forecast. So we'll begin with the overall mean summer temperature set against 61 to 1919. You see that set against 61 to 1919, it was generally, away from Scotland, a slightly uh, warmer than average summer. So Scotland comes out with um, just average temperatures there. Away from east of Scotland, where it was a little bit warmer than average. We come down to Northern Ireland and Northern England, and it's slightly uh, milder than average, the summer of 2017. And that goes down into Wales and southwestern England too, only by about half a degree. Through much of central and eastern England, the anomaly increases. So we go to around 1 to 1.5 degrees above average, set against 61 to uh, 1990. So for the north, near normal with the temperature, set against 61 to 1990. For the south, actually quite a warm summer. If we look at a more modern temperature average, though, such as 81 to 2010, and this is always a problem we have when we issue long-range forecasts. Which um, temperature anomaly are we setting it against? Are we setting it against 61 to 1990, which is an old and cold temperature average that probably should have been discarded quite a few years ago, or are we talking about 81 to 2010? So this is how uh, the summer temperatures uh, verify for um, summer 2017, set against 81 to 1990. Amazing, much closer to average. So virtually all of central northern Britain is coming out pretty much around average, either between, uh, say, half a degree below or half a degree above average, but no great deviation for central and northern parts of the country. For the south and southeast, it's still a little bit above average, but only by half a degree to uh, up to one degree above average through the Midlands, Central, Southern, South, East and England. So much closer to average this summer, set against 61, uh, set against um, 81 to 10, but a little bit warmer than average, particularly for the South, set against 61 to 1990. Uh, and this is how the months themselves stack up. So June comes out against 81 to 2010, significantly warmer than average. Now, for the north, it's only a little bit above average, but for the south, quite a big deviation. Actually, through the Midlands in some eastern parts of England, we're around one and a half degrees above average, maybe a bit more, up to two degrees, some parts of East Anglia above average in June, set against 81 to 2010. That would be a greater anomaly set against 61 to 1990. But look what happens in July. It turns much cooler. So Scotland in July, set against 81 to 2010, is coming out cooler than average generally. England and Wales just close to average and just a little bit above average in July down in the southeast. And then June, uh, August, I should say, looks like this. So Scotland comes out average uh, to a little bit cooler than average, set against 81 to 2010. But England and Wales comes out a little bit cooler than average, quite widely from uh, the west over towards the east. So quite clearly, we saw a bit of a front-loaded summer, certainly from temperature perspective, with uh, June a little bit above average, 
that July and August showing a significant cooling by the time you get through to August actually many parts of the country are coming out uh, a little bit on the cooler than average side. Now, in terms of uh, rainfall, we can see that set against 61 to 90. It was quite a wet summer, especially so for central and northern parts of the country. But really all places, except maybe in the Midlands, interestingly, where it was close to average. But elsewhere, virtually all areas are coming out uh, wetter than average uh, this summer. Set against 61 to 1990. And for uh, the uh, 81 to 2010 average, against the same idea virtually all places except into the midlands where it is drier there but otherwise all places coming out wetter than average so overall it was an unsettled summer with above average rainfall and it was a front-loaded summer from a temperature perspective so it started off warmer than average especially so for the south and east where it was really quite hot in the early part of the summer and then the heat drained away so i told you through to august Actually, many parts of the country are coming out cooler than average. Um, and I think the upshot of this is that the uh, 2017 summer forecast was not accurate with this summer. It wasn't uh, how we expected it to go at all. Whilst I could cherry pick 61 to 1990 overall average, uh, for this summer and say, yes, we had a warm and average summer. Um, that's in, just leave it at that. Um, I'm not going to do that because actually the expected pattern was not at all what happened this summer. So I have to admit and I have to say that despite the 61 to 90, 90 average, um, the summer coming out uh, above the 61 to 90, 90 average overall, uh, no, it was not a successful a forecast. So, uh, sorry about that. The summer 2017 forecast did not go to plan. Uh, and of course, we've moved on now. We've moved on to August, uh, moved on to autumn, I should say. And we'll just have to see how the uh, forecast that we issued at the end of August for the autumn uh, plays out. Uh, and as ever, when we get to the end of the season, we will verify that forecast as well and see what happened there. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.